on that on that note, I'm just gonna go th- throw a couple pieces of advice for when you're on the road, especially because that's when things are really non ideal. When you're at home, yeah. it's easy to, or a lot easier at least to keep things closer to what you want. But th- the life of an athlete is not ideal ever. You're always in circumstances where until you're playing in the NHL and they treat you like kings. But it's you, still not ideal. It's still not ideal, yeah. right? Because you still have your sleep. You're not sleeping in your bed. You're traveling crazy all over the place all the time. Yeah. There's always things that are not ideal. Yeah. The only thing that is more ideal is the food, maybe, and the nutrition piece. They, yeah. they make sure that you're taken care of. But So if you're on the road, and it doesn't matter if you're when you're younger, 14, 15, 16, up through junior, you have to try to make the best of the bad situations. So if you're staying in a hotel, you already know your sleep's not going to be as good as it would be because you're not in your own bed. You're not in your own environment. Yeah. Your body knows that you're not. So you have to try to do the best you can to get on a good sleep routine for the three days that you're staying away from home or longer, depending on what you're doing. Right. So that means trying to go to bed on time. Now the go to bed on time and the go to bed early thing, especially for athletes, my opinion, it's not go to bed at eight 30. That actually doesn't make sense to me because normally your games are like seven, seven 30. So Two hours before you go to sleep, your body starts to know you're going to sleep. Yeah. It starts to gear you down to go to sleep. Yeah. So if, you're, if your games, let's say you play a normal hockey schedule, you're playing at 7, 7.30 at night. If you're younger, it might be a little different. You might have afternoon games or whatever. But generally, you don't want your body to be gearing down to go to bed at 7. So real, realistically, it's probably like more 10 or 11 yeah. is probably when is ideal. As a yeah. hockey player, if yeah. you're playing 7 o'clock games, you're done by 9.30, you eat food, go to bed yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So... That is probably what makes sense. So somewhere between 10 and 11, you should be asleep, like falling asleep, not yeah. just just getting into bed and look at my phone for an hour, yeah. you know? So that's one thing on the road from the sleep perspective. Nutrition stuff, you're probably going to have to eat out quite a bit. You're not going to be home cooking when you're away, which is not ideal. Yeah. And sometimes you're going to have to take a take take the shit sandwich that you're going to get yeah. and eat it because that's the food that you're given. Yeah. But if you do have some control over it, you should try to make the best choice that you have available. So for example, when I played with the university, not ideal. Yeah. So I would get, I would get meaning the team would provide meals that you just went, what the what hell? Is just trash. Like right. meals. That's like, what cheap and are trashy. we not, are we not supposed to be high level athletes? Yeah. Is this, is that which it is anyone yeah. that has played Canadian university? It's not, it's not a joke uh, not a level joke of no. athletics. No. Great hockey. So anyways, we would get these junk meals and I would get so frustrated once I started to actually pay attention to how much nutrition actually impacts you. I'm like, I'm not eating this. Mm -hmm. So if we have a a back-to-back Friday, Saturday games, I'm not eating that. I can't. So I would not eat sometimes when we were at, or I would salvage what I could. And then I would go spend my own money on other food later, which didn't end up mean like making a huge difference because by the time I started paying attention, I was 23 already. But regardless... This is something that can be make a huge impact. So pay attention. So if you're a mom and dad now at the younger ages, don't just think whatever is fine because it's actually not. It's mm-hmm. actually not. Now we have yeah. we have content episodes about nutrition stuff of what you should be doing around your game so you can go look at that. But f- you can always make a good choice or a better choice with what's available. So if you're going to yeah. go eat at Kelsey's, for example, or a Milestones or a whatever on the road, You can make a better choice at those restaurants than a worse one. You don't have to get the burger and fries. You don't have to get the wings. You don't have to get whatever shit you're going to get. They have better options that you can make. And take that serious because that's something that can make an actual impact on you. Yeah, big time. And those are junior kids, AAA kids, kids when their parents are still calling the shots. Like these are things that actually can affect you. So making sure that your sleep is in order and that your nutrition is in order is huge, especially when you're traveling and on the road and things are already out of whack yeah that's that those are the first two and then the last one i was gonna i was gonna say is the when people are on the road a lot of times they think they need to just sit around all day because they have a game and they need to rest and that's probably one of the worst things you can do if you have if the first time you move in the day is when you're Getting starting your game play. yeah your body's not going to be prepared for that yeah. so if when you're on the road, if you're staying in a hotel or if you were just on the bus for a, a road trip, if you or driving with your parents, if you can leave a little bit earlier so that you have a little bit of time to get out and move first yeah. before you have to go right into your game, that's a good yeah. thing to do. If you're staying in a hotel, get up and move. Yeah. So sleep until you're ready to wake up. And then once you're up, go move. What, yeah. Something light where you get just a baby sweat going, nothing super intense. Yeah. But this is why professionals oftentimes will do like a morning skate. Mm-hmm. It's not because they need to practice. Yeah. 
It's to move. Yeah. It's to get the blood flow. It's, it's to sweat the cobwebs out right? of the brain. Exactly, right? Yeah. Shaking off the travel legs, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So these are things that you should be starting to think about from a yeah. performance perspective when you're on the road. 100%. So anything on that? Yeah. No, like the, the movement, like the, okay, so from a parent's point of view, it's, you know, the, the, the easiest thing to do, like, I don't, I don't really want to preach about it. The easiest thing to do is just get in the car and go and then yep. take care of it as it goes. But that's a recipe for disaster. Um, as far as performance goes, if it doesn't matter, then that's fine. But simple things that you can do. Like I, I was impressed, uh, um, with some of the kids that I coached where parents would bring crock pots and make chili right in the hotel room or make meals right in the hotel room. And at first I was like, Jesus, no fun. It seems like it's unnecessary. Yeah. But right? you know what? The kids were serious and the parents were serious. And so, you know, and, 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 and I, I, I looked at it and, and, there was a couple of the parents that they were just scrambling to get there. You know, they were scrambling. Like when I coached in the States, we had some road trips, like from Detroit to St. Louis and Minnesota and Boston. Not everyone can fly yeah, yeah. and go yeah. first class, right? Some people had to drive and get there and scrimp and save and stuff like that. So, and they did that. And, and you know what? Maybe in the long run it was better because they ate be- better food and stuff, right? But you, you, you do miss out on some things, but, uh, but in the long run, that's that's probably the healthier choice. But there, so there are people that do that, and uh, I, I, you know what, my wife and some of her uh, her buddies on the road trips were, were good. Sometimes they, you know, make sure that there was some, like the, especially the snacking. Yeah. So you make sure that there is like good sandwiches, and you know that's not the best food, but good sandwiches and like stuff that they can eat or make at your li- eliminate a lot of the cost too. Yeah. Um, but, but getting some quality food in because you are going to go out and have a meal somewhere. That's, yep, that's what's going to happen. Sure. You're going to, you're going to not say mess up, but you're going to, you're going to have the fun part of it. And you should, right. In youth hockey, yep. right. But we're, we, we learn or we, we get in situations where we, we think that we got to like maximize everything, but we yep. don't. Yeah. Right. So like, especially on the road with your with people, it's a lot easier to say, I'm not going to have a beer. And then you get with people and then you get t- 10 deep yeah, because you're having a good time, right? It's, 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 it's just called discipline. So parents can take, you know, find foods that you like. Oatmeal is an easy thing. Like you can pre-cook this uh, stuff, eggs, and it's just easy. You're never starving. Yep. And that's because the th- problem is, is that when you're waiting around, like, let's be honest, you're on a roadie as a youth hockey player and mom and dad are with their buddies and they're sucking a few beers. Right. It's like, we're going to go eat soon, eh? And dad's like, yeah, well, yeah, me and Andre, right? We'll have another beer next thing we know. Oh, shit, we got to eat. The kids are starving. Well, we're five beers deep, right? Yeah. It's the kids are it. suffering. So, but if there was boiled eggs or some salads or something that they can eat, then you, then they're not starving. That's right. Right. So anyways, parents, if you can take care of some of that at home. Yeah. And so, so just a couple, a couple pieces on that. So have water with you. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, a couple of things on that though. It's kind of the, uh, the line you've used this before people know uh if you fail to prepare you prepare to fail kind of thing be a little bit prepared right be a little bit prepared if you're parents and you're the ones calling the shots be a little bit prepared like have think of it a little bit in advance just to keep things in order and like you said it can save you a lot if you actually if you do that and i'm not saying you have to bring every single meal because there's also a line where it's like too much now like if you're the guy that can never go out to eat or whatever, that's actually not necessary either because you can make a decent choice when yeah. you're out. It's not like you have to have every yeah. single meal you have counted out for every yeah. single thing you're doing. Like that's not necessary either. Yeah. It's just about make, trying to make intelligent choices with what you're doing to give yourself a good opportunity. But you need to be able to be flexible a little bit when you're in non-ideal circumstances. Like if yeah. you don't have your, your exact food that you need, you're going to lose your shit and now yeah. you can't play later because you're so yeah. off because you didn't get to eat what you normally eat. Like that's not good either, yeah. right? But it's having having the ability to make some better decisions, whether you're parents or whether you're the kids that have responsibility for yourself when you're once you're into junior. So that's, uh, that's one thing. You don't want to get to the point where it's too much now, yeah. you know? And I just want to reiterate too, the, the financial piece, because I don't want this to come off like, unempathetic to people that can only afford to leave right when they can yeah. and they can't do the extra and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But all these principles, you can make them work for you. You can finagle it however you need to finagle, sure. finagle it however you need to, to make it work for whatever your circumstance are. And it's not going to be ideal. It's, this is, that's what the whole episode's about. Like things are not ideal. It's just about trying to make it a better situation than worse. So, you know, a lot of p- parents, to your point, they go on and it's actually a road trip for them. Yeah. And they're not really thinking about, and again, this is for people who are serious. It's yeah. for if you're serious yeah. about trying to do better and all that kind of yeah. stuff. 
So if you're going to have, you know, suck 10 beers back with two other dads on the team or have a wine night with the moms or whatever, it's like, you're going to be making some missteps for sure that yeah. don't need to be there, you know? Yeah. So just think about it uh, in that sense. 